what's cracking everybody you know what i'm saying it's one of those days where we gotta get cracking the beginning of the week and you know everything matters the beginning of the week however you set to begin the tone of your week that's how the end of your week gonna begin well and so moving along y'all guys seen the video that i did about the whole fake natty and everything there was a few comments up in there of some people that's illiterate that don't know how to cipher the difference between hating and calling a person out on potentially harming the youth and other supporters of age by lying about the excessive amount of food that he was doing with the mug bangs or whatever, however you pronounce that shit. Because when he admitted that he wasn't really eating all that food, I said, damn, Kelly, you just don't get it. You don't get that you a role model and people's is actually trying to do these challenges that challenges that you're doing. Like the whole watermelon situation. Dumbest shit in the world. Like, and then the whole fake orgasm while he eating the food. That's some gay shit. Uh -oh, uh oh Like, come on now. It's kids watching. That's why I had to stop my kids from watching his ass. Because all of that is unnecessary. That's right there. And then they say Mac Cloud chasing for what? For what? What is there to gain when calling a spade a spade? The only thing that's there to gain is what? people's opening their eyes and not doing dumb shit now this is the thing if you guys notice every bodybuilder that wanted to be a pro bodybuilder that couldn't go anywhere what do they do when they when they go too far and they put their body in a, a frantic stage of where they can't perform where do they go oh obsessive eating all the drugs but the whole time they on hush hush about what they were doing. Me, I'm so open. I share all this stuff and all this information with you guys because I know it could potentially uh, help someone kind of do it the right way because I do what works for me. However, the one thing that I do know is bare minimum works. Doing things too far and taking things too far, I know from being in the streets that if you do anything that goes against the grain, it's gonna come and bite you in the ass. You know what I'm saying? Like when I gang banged, I wasn't one of those gang members set tripping on colors. I grew up in those times where you couldn't wear red or you couldn't wear blue. But with my hood, we were always wore both colors because our T hats is red, white, and blue. So we would wear blue Chuck Taylors with red laces, most of us. You see what I'm saying? So we never really tripped so much off of uh, the color thing, you know. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm still living that same lifestyle of not pushing things too far. And that also goes with the chemicals and the foods that I choose to eat and the chemicals and the natural supplements that I choose to take and the chemicals and the enhancements that I choose to take. I don't take nothing too far because the one thing that can't nobody guarantee is how much time we have in this universe. So when people say you take time off your life, nobody couldn't say that and be accurate because nobody know how much time each individual have on their life because we're not walking around with a clock over our head that's, that's um, winding down. It don't happen. So I don't ever respect or believe anybody information when they say takes time off your life. I just don't because that's an idiot that really believes that they control their life. We don't control our life. The one thing that we control is what? How far we take things. We could trick ourselves out of our freedom. We could trick ourselves out of a great position. But the one thing that we don't control is our lives. Now, 
People say I'm hating on Cali. I don't hate Cali. I don't agree with none of the things that he's doing that's misleading the youth. Why? Because I have children that was watching this man. I have friends that was believing this man. Hell, my dad used to watch him while he used to work out in a garage and get his in doing his garage buffing. He used to watch this dude. And then one day, a few years ago, he was like, dude, what is up with this guy? He like weird as hell now. Absolutely, weird as shit. You would never know that he from Cali, other than his name. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, don't preach what's healthy and unhealthy when you selling unhealthy stuff and your videos is based on unhealthy things with all this obsessive dumb challenges and when you go into people workplaces disrespecting the everyday person claiming you're their boss because you come in here to buy a cheeseburger and all this type of stuff the one thing i never tolerate is a person disrespecting someone doing an honest job that's helping keep America or any country moving forward because not everyone is willing to what push a broom flip a burger patty or anything like that I did them both when I were younger should I still push a broom but I used to flip patties and there was no way that I would have let someone like Callie and big boy coming at motherfucker disrespecting me while I'm trying to make an honest living without me making that phone call having 20 motherfucking crips outside that motherfucker ready to rip they motherfucking meat off their bones. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know what a person is going through. So it's a lot of things that he did that I don't agree with that I feel is distasteful. So if he don't like it and y'all don't like it, I don't care. Why? Because I'm entitled to feel how I choose to um, feel. I'm entitled to my own opinion. And the things that he's doing, if you read the comments of my videos, there's hundreds of people that don't like how he's moving. I used to love to watch his stuff when he was tapped in with his roots. All this doing weird shit just for the stay relevant with views. Man, I'm just blessed to be able to make money so many different type of ways to where that I don't have to um, belittle myself or be something that I'm not just to try to make a buck. Nah, because those type of people that do that are suck a dick, period. When a person is willing to do anything for buck, trust me, they would. And I'm not saying cuz would, but what I'm saying is there's a lot of people that do that shit that would do strange things for change. So to those of you that's following my journey, that's a part of my journey, that open, opened up y'all doors to where I'm a part of y'all journey, let's continue to not fall for the banana in a tailpipe. Let's continue to not fall for the smoke and mirrors because at first, he used to talk about how small somebody is when he was jacked. Now that he jacked, he talking about how bad it looked for motherfuckers that's jacked. That's a contradictor, 100% contradictor. So if you guys pay attention to his pattern, that's a narcissistic mindset. If I can't have it, I'm about to try to discourage everybody else from, um, from doing it. I'm eating one time a day. No, you're not. I'm watermelon diet. Now you got all type of idiots running around buying watermelons, not knowing that they could potentially kill themselves with too much obsessive eating of watermelons because too much water is not good. That's why the body is only designed to withhandle so much water a day because it flushes out every day. But there's a lot of people that believe his method, shame on him, shame on him, because all you see is somebody that went from the outside appearance looking phenomenal to where now the outside appearance looks sickly and the inside is, is sickly. So you don't want to be the one putting the wagon in front of the horse, but some of you guys 
Y'all just don't get it. And I know one thing, not everybody has common sense because that's something we cannot teach. We can't teach a person common sense. It's either in you or it's not. And for those of you that don't have common sense, common sense, I'm trying to urge you guys to not follow those weak tactics because he already openly said that he don't be really doing all of that stuff. So if he would be putting them disclaimers in the video, hey, I'm about to do this video, but I'm not really gonna eat all this, that's different. He's not doing that. So then you got these kids going out here trying to eat all this fried chicken, all these burgers, making these spreads and all of this. His health is fucked up from that crazy eating, them crazy stems of all that coffee and Coca-Cola, whatever recreational shit he did, and over excessively using enhancements. Steroids are not bad. That's just like saying guns kill. Guns do not kill. There's not a gun sitting on a shelf that you could walk by that'll kill you. It's the person, it's the individual. Open your eyes. Open your eyes and realize that there is no way that steroids did that to that man or all of obsessive eating did that to that man. He did all of that to himself. And I have no pity for nobody that signed up for this lifestyle and want to disrespect it. That's just like those that ride motorcycles. People say motorcycles are dangerous, they kill. There's not a motorcycle sitting in a garage that's just gonna sit there and kill you. It's the individual. Now we have drivers that don't pay attention to us, but guess what? It's our job to try to be overly alert to ride for those that's on the road. By that way, our chances of not getting ourselves into a jam are greater. So, once again, he did this to himself. Thousand milligrams of test, well, 800 or thousand milligrams of test, 1500 a trend, whatever the case may be. That was enough fucking drugs that can have a horse win in all type of races. And ain't no telling if it was being cycled off and on. Because that can also play a, a part and a factor in this whole situation. Those of you that's doing this, continue to be smart, continue to be wise, continue to know your body, anything that feels strange, stop doing what you're doing, go to your doctor and be very honest with your doctor. If you have a significant other and you hide it from that individual, make sure you be honest and tell them because if something happened to you, somebody got to know what's going on. Because if you go to the doctor and you got to get rushed into some surgery and you got a lot of enhancements in your body, you can't get put to sleep to go through the surgery or you will die. And that's a lot of information that you guys don't understand or don't know. And that's stuff that Callie don't even know because he didn't even share that part. But, hey, who am I? I'm just a man that's been keeping it all the way 100 from the gate. And I always been calling anybody out that's in the field that I'm in, that's doing stuff that's faulty, that can potentially harm another person. As long as the information can't harm someone, I mind my goddamn business. But when it's something that could potentially harm another individual, even my own kids, I say something. And those of you that's watching this video that don't like it, like, oh, that's black on black, we supposed to stick together. I don't care if you green, orange, purple, blue, white, yellow, it does not matter. I ain't no brother this, brother that, because guess what? Guess who I get all my hate from? Guess who I get all my racial profiling from? My own kind. My own kind. There's not a white man on the face of this earth for no state or no country I've been into that made me feel uncomfortable or racially profiled me. Not even the police. Because when the police jammed me up, trust and believe, I brought that on myself. While I'm laying in the middle of the street 
while I'm in the back of the police car, guess what? I brought it on myself. It wasn't like they just did the shit. I either didn't have no registration, expired license or something. I did it to myself. Ain't no racial profiling coming from Mack Truck, but only from my own kind. My own kind doing it. So if we gonna talk this race stuff, make sure that you are doing your part in your job because what? What you saying to me does not matter because you're not out there trying to save lives and give out proper information. You trying to do this whole coat situation, put all the blacks in the same pot and we go against the others and all of this. Hell nah. I got too many family members that's different necessities. That's different walks of life. Too many. And I'd be goddamn if I start looking at them different because I'm trying to prove that I'm so black. Man, please, y'all can kiss my black ass cheek right in the middle of the crack. Where is dark at? Anywho, it's the people's champ giving it to you, gun barrel straight, raw and uncut, no filter. Till next time, I'll smell y'all later. Bruh, kick, 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 pow, pow.